All right, I'm Dylan Black. Welcome back. And uh, we've got a couple of, we've got a vice president. We have a president here as well. First of all, the president of the Ottawa Valley Aquarium Society, uh, Errol Chu. How That's are right. you? Good. Nice Good. to have you here. And Jody McManus, the vice president. Hi. Very cool. This is like very presidential going on right here. We try. In case we something try. happens to you during this segment, he's it's here. Back up right there. Yeah. And he's the new president. So exactly. Exactly. hang out with us for a while, okay? Mm -hmm. Ottawa Valley Aquarium Society. Uh, Errol, tell us about this cool organization. The Ottawa Valley Aquarium Society, I think, was founded in 1954. Yeah. So that dates us to about 63 years. And we cater to aquarium hobbyists throughout the Ottawa Valley area mm -hmm. and it's open to any hobbyist from the beginner to the most experienced. Mm -hmm. We try to add a social as aspect to it which in turn hopefully would aid as a teaching tool for the younger hobbyists coming up there. Yeah. Okay, so Jody, where are you based out of? Um, we have our monthly meetings at the uh, Tom Brown Arena, just uh, right around the corner from here. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and uh, what type of person, so you was mentioning hobbyists, but when you mm -hmm. talk about aquarium, because I think of all kinds of, I think of fish, I think Really, of it, it's everybody who, anyone who likes fish um, is welcome at the meeting and come out and, you know, we'll have people that are only interested in saltwater fish, only interested in plants. And then there's people that love every aspect of uh, the hobby. Okay. How many people do you have in the society right now as, as members? I think we're up to about 60 people right now. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it has dropped off somewhat over the years. Uh, I think we can uh, attribute most of that to social media. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. So yeah, people have backed away from the one-on-one -on -one interpersonal well, skills. that's not cool. Yeah. Oh, no. So <laughs> that's why we're glad to have you here. That's right. This this yeah. aids us a lot in, you know, perfect. Getting things okay. Done. And we have some pretty neat uh, pictures. That maybe Jody, you could yeah. you could mention to, to us uh, what this is. Exactly. Yeah. So some some of these are uh, just pictures of some of our club members and executive uh, tank. This is a, a little reef tank. Uh, another view of it here. Um, yeah, and uh, betta fish. Those are betta fishes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Which is very neat. So, yeah, and, and these fellows, there. some other beta there, there, yeah. there, yeah. That's <laughs> a so, beta fish, huh? Yeah. Okay, and, and so, oh, this guy looks like he's, he's up to no good for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a green terror, so yeah, he, okay. he deserves the name. Oh, his last name is Terror. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and this is yeah. more, this guy's more friendly, like you would talk to this guy. Uh, he's still a pretty aggressive uh, fish coming out of Africa, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Another aggressive, yeah. So, so it goes to show I don't know yeah. as much about this, and I guess <laughs> that's why, I mean, Errol, that, you know, you have this organization. And, and you can you can educate people on this yes. fishing. Yes, uh, this is a planted tank with the uh, popular crystal red shrimp. Um, big going now. And this is the dragon yeah. dragon fish yeah. in the saltwater world. Is this a very common fish? This can't be very common. He's not not super common because he has pretty specialized needs. Mm -hmm. And again, that's the other part of the the hobby and the the club that we always try to do is educate people mm -hmm. on you know different stuff. Uh, different tricks and tips to, to successfully maintain their... And, and it's a beautiful hobby yeah. and, and passion to have as well, yeah. to, to, be, uh, to love these aquariums. I mean, look at that, that's yeah. like a scene out of Star Wars, right? Yeah. Episode one, exactly, by the way, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah. And this guy? That's a goldfish, what they call the fancy goldfish. Yeah. Oh, he is fancy. <coughs> no doubt about it. Now, where would this be set up? This is my basement. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, it's a mess because I've been uh, doing a lot of projects, so this is just a... A little bit of a, a mm -hmm. working fish room at the moment. So. Okay. This is another member's planted aquarium. As yeah. you can see, he's put a lot of time and effort into creating hmm. uh, an aquatic scene. Okay. Another member's tank. This, these fish are called the discus fish. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're yeah. quite beautiful as well. That's mm -hmm. right. So obviously, I mean, you're both uh, fans of this. You love yeah. Jody. I mean, how long has it taken you to, to put together uh, that, that room that you had there? Um, it's, it's a work in progress. Um, this this current setup is about a year and a half old. Um, okay. I've got 32 tanks running with another 30 on the way. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this, this, that represents how extreme the hobby can yeah. go. Mm -hmm. So he's at the extreme. The other guy might, as reflected in the pictures, might just be a little beta fish in a bowl. Mm -hmm. Of course. So we welcome you know, every, every level of the hobby to our society. Mm -hmm. And it's a great way to interact, learn one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think there's any social media that can replace 
a one-on-one -on -one of course not interaction no? I totally so agree that that's what we you know we strive to provide for hobbyists. Okay. So. And Jody, how often are the uh, the general meetings? Uh, we do them on the fourth Monday of every month, um, except for the summer months. So. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. And Errol, how do people uh, get a, to be a part of this? We have a website that you can visit, that you can register on the website, be part of this the community there, and it's www ovas.ca, okay. which is the abbreviation for the Ottawa Valley Aquarium Society. Of course, and then of course everybody can check it out, see some wonderful yeah. pictures, get some information, sign up and be a member. Absolutely. Exactly. And then, yeah. you know, obviously we, we encourage people to come out to the meetings too. I mean, that's to me that's the most fun is, you know, I get to uh, talk about uh, fish and talk about my hobby and my interests mm -hmm. and share other people's interests as well. Well, it's a beautiful hobby, so, yeah. beautiful yeah. interest. Yeah. We also... We have a membership yeah. of $20 a year per person, which is, okay. is minimal when you look at it. Like, uh, That's perfect, and yeah. people can find out all this at the website. Yeah, totally. it helps us to do much more. Great. Thank totally. you very much for being well, thank here you. Thanks for having us. Okay. And coming up, Catherine Hull has a free seven-day self-care challenge. We'll find out more about it next on Daytime.